Hi, my name is Troy Beekel. I'm a horticulture specialist with Premier Tech, and today I want to talk to you about the Promix Biofungicide Plus Mycorrhizae. But before I get into that, I want to ask you a couple questions. Would you like to have a media that specifically can reduce root disease without having to suit up and apply chemicals? Do you want to improve your overall plant performance so that landscapers and homeowners are happier with the plants they receive? Do you want repeat customers who buy your plants because they survive transplant better, grew better, flowered more, and produced more vegetables? If you answer yes to any of these questions, the Promix enhanced with the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae would work for you. So first of all, what is the Promix Biofungicide Plus Mycorrhizae product line? Well, it's a line of growing media enhanced with two bioadditives or active ingredients. The first is the biofungicide, which is a natural non-GMO bacterium called Bacillus pumulus PTB180. The second is mycorrhizae, a natural non-GMO endomycorrhizal fungus. Both of these offer unique benefits to help plants uh, in the following ways. So first, let's talk about the biofungicide. Biofungicide is added to the Promix product in the form of spores. As the plant root comes in close contact with these spores, they will basically, shall we say, germinate, and then the live bacteria will start to grow on the outside of the root system. The roots will then therefore feed the biofungicide carbohydrates and other exudates, and through this feeding process, the biofungicide will then continue to multiply in population, forming a biofilm around the outside of the root tips. This process takes about 48 hours. So this biofilm makes it difficult for plant pathogens to penetrate, but in addition to that, the biofungicide produces a natural polypeptide, which serves as a natural fungicide, which will suppress fusarium, pythium, and rhizoctonia, which typically cause root disease, as well as crown rots and damping off. Now the biofungicide also makes auxins, which can increase root hair production, so it can increase uptake of nutrients and water. The second active ingredient would be our mycorrhizae, which is a natural vesicular arbuscular endomycorrhizae. And it works kind of in the same way. As a root starts to grow through the growing media, the spores of the mycorrhizae, which is what we add to the growing media, will then, shall we say, germinate, produce a hyphae that will grow to the root. It will then penetrate the root and it'll start growing with inside the, the cell of the root. Once inside the cell, it starts to form a, a, a structure called an arbuscule, which then takes carbohydrates, sugars, and photosynthates from the plant that in turn feeds the mycorrhizae. Eventually, the mycorrhizae starts to form new structures called vesicles, which serve as lipid storage uh, for the mycorrhizal fungi to help sustain it. Once that takes place, the mycorrhizae will then produce additional hyphae that will grow up past the root system to acquire water and nutrients, specifically phosphorus, copper, manganese, zinc, etc., that will help feed the plant. Now, the plant will realize these benefits in about three to four weeks after planting. Both the biofungicide and mycorrhizae form a symbiotic relationship with the plant, in which both the plant as well as the microorganisms benefit from each other. Both the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae will remain with the plant throughout its entire crop production cycle, so there's no need to reapply either the biofungicide or the mycorrhizae. Both the biofungicide and mycorrhizae are produced in a lab, in our lab, which is aseptic and under aseptic conditions, so we can guarantee that these organisms are pathogen free. Now, when we introduce these, these organisms into our growing media, we add what we call viable spores of both the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae. The reason why we use viable spores, first of all, they're good for long-term, they're basically a long-term reproductive survival structure of both organisms, and the spore counts of both the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae are guaranteed in which we take and actually colonize root systems and do counts from that. So the application for the Promix uh, biofungicide and mycorrhizae uh, that we incorporate into the Promix line, essentially it could be used for most flowering annuals, vegetables, herbs, as well as some perennials, even in cases, trees and shrubs. So the plant benefits of using the Promix biofungicide and mycorrhizae is first of all, it obviously reduces the losses of seedlings, liners, transplants, 
and helps to increase the acquisition of nutrients and water through the use of the mycorrhizae. We will see a delay in nutrient deficiency symptoms and we'll also see increases in plant tolerance to stress, stresses from either from under fertilization, drought, high salts, or even root diseases. We get faster plant establishment and better survival of transplants while they're going from one size container to another. Crop vigor is also improved, especially when you go into the outdoor growing environment. You get larger plants with more fruits, flowers, and vegetables, especially those plants that are under water and nutrition stress. Both the biofungicide and mycorrhizae will colonize, colonize plant roots for their entire life cycle, so there's no need to reapply either organism. So what are the grower benefits of using the ProMix Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae? Well, first and foremost, the goal is to really see a reduction of plant loss through the, through the suppression of root disease. We also see an increase in nutrient uptake, which can improve overall plant health. That in turn can reduce transplant shock and can improve survivability of plants when they're transplanted outside. Other benefits include a reduction of chemical fungicide drenches, by up to 50%, in some cases even as high as 75%. What that means for you as a grower is we'll save you time and money to having to apply the uh, fungicide drench. Another benefit is the increased cost of adding both the biofungicide and mycorrhizae is typically lower than one chemical fungicide application drench. So there's no need to reapply the biofungicide and mycorrhizae as we mentioned earlier because it stays with the plant throughout its entire crop production cycle. So, bottom line is you get peace of mind knowing that you have the biofungicide in the product to help suppress root disease before they become a problem. And we also have mycorrhizae in there to help with uptake of, of nutrients, which can reduce maintenance costs associated with correcting nutrient deficiency issues. So think about it. If you can potentially reduce your plant loss by five to 10%, that could save you thousands of dollars in crop loss. If you're a vegetable grower, and you see increased yield, think about the, uh, the greater amount of money you can make per acre using the ProMix Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae. Last point is storage. The ProMix Biofungicide Mycorrhizae can be stored outside. Now the spores in the product will last up to two years as long as the temperatures do not exceed 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius within the product itself. The product can be stored frozen. We do recommend using the ProMix Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae within 9 to 12 months for peat-based growing media and 6 to 9 months for peat bark-based growing media. The reason is, is you get a biodegradation of both the starter fertilizer added to the products as well as the wetting agent. And with that, I want to thank you for listening.